Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create an animated bottom bar within your Flutter application. This tutorial is going to take you to a step-by-step -step process and we're going to be taking a look at how to make this work on both iOS and Android. So with that said, let's get into the video. So to get started, the first thing that you're going to be doing is installing a dependency that we require to work with this animated bottom bar. For that, what you can do is head on over to pub.dev and then download the Solomon bottom bar dependency. So just copy this come back and I'll leave a link to the source code as well as all of the resources that I use in this tutorial down in the description as well as the first pinned comment so you can take a look at them. With this done, you can go to pubspec.yaml after this go to dependencies and here underneath the flutter add the Solomon bottom bar and then boot command save. With this done, you can stop running your application and then restart it by rerunning it again. And while this happens, I'm going to go into my lib folder, create a new folder called pages. And within this, I'm going to create a new file, which I'm going to call home underscore page dot dart. This animated bottom bar is going to work in the same way that a built-in material bottom bar works for Flutter. So it's going to be very easy and intuitive for you if you have worked with it. If you haven't, then it's going to be still very easy. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be creating a stateful widget because we are going to be managing some state for our bottom bar. So once that is done, the next thing that I'll do is that I'll set the name for my widget to be home page. And with this, I'll do command save, come back to my main dart dart file. And then for the home property here, I'll set this to home page. And then what I'll do is that I'll also remove the built in my home page class that the boilerplate code gives us. With this done, I'll do command save, come back to my home page for the build function for the home page state, I'll return a scaffold. And with this done, we are ready to go. So now that I need to add the bottom bar, to my actual scaffold, where do I add it? Well, for that, what I'll do is that I'll define the bottom navigation bar property for the scaffold. And this is going to be where we're going to be initializing our Solomon bottom bar. So for that, I'm just going to initialize a object of Solomon bottom bar. And then it requires us to give it a list of items that is going to display as elements on that bottom bar. So this is going to be a list of item and each item is going to be of type Solomon bottom bar item like so each item requires an icon so this is whatever the bottom bars icon is going to be for each of the tabs and then the title for that so what i'll do firstly is that i'll set the icon to be um, a const icon and then i'm going to say it's going to be icons.home for the first one um, and then for the title what i'll do is that i'll set the title to be const um, text and then home and once this is done i'll do command save and you're going to see that the bottom bar is now being displayed beneath um, the next thing that after this, what I'll do is that I am going to say that I'm going to select the colors for the selected bottom bar item as well as when it's active or inactive. So to do that, I'll set the selected color to be colors dot red. So once this actual tab is selected, then I want it to be colors dot red. And when it's unselected, then I want the color to be colors dot gray like so. And do command save. So now the color for this is red and it's currently selected. And by default, the first item in the items list is the one that's considered to be the active item. So now what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be basically copying this and pasting it two more times so that we can have three elements in total in our bottom bar. For the next one, what I'll do is that I'll change the selected color to be green. And then for the icon, what I'll do is that I'm going to change that to be add like so. Um, icons.add and then for the text I'll also say that this is going to be add um, and then after this for the last one what I'll do is that I'll set the color to be blue like so and then for the unselected color I'll leave that as gray and then the icon will be person underscore two like so and then the title is going to be profile so let me just quickly do that and there we go. So now we have these bottom navigation bar items working. I can click on each of them, but nothing's happening. And that's why, because we are not managing the state and we are also not handling what happens when we actually click on a specific bar item and what logic needs to be fired. So for that, what I'll do is that I am going to firstly handle the side of things, which is what happens when we actually click on one of the bar items and what type of state do we modify. So for that, what I'll do is that I'll come to my home page state and here I'm going to be basically keeping track of what our current index is or what our current page is or what's the current number of the bar item that we've clicked. So by default it's going to be zero because we are going to be saying that by default the zeroth item or the first item in our items list is going to be the active one and then when we click on anything we can change this. Once this is done the next thing after that what I'll do is that I'm going to basically set the current index property for my Solomon bottom bar to be that variable that we've defined. 
And even now, if I click on something, it's not doing anything. Why? Because we're not updating this current index. So to do that, what I'll do is that I am going to now define the property for this Solomon bottom bar, which is the on tap function like so. So this gets called every time a bottom bar item gets clicked. So I'm going to say that we are going to be passed an index here. And then dependent upon what type of index we get passed, we are going to be updating the value. So I'll call set state. And within this, I'm going to say that the current index is going to be the index that gets passed to us to command save. And now you're going to see that we can actually switch between these bars easily. So now the last thing that I want to do is that I want to tie this current index with the actual stuff that's being displayed on screen so that when we actually click on a bottom bar item and the index gets updated, then the actual contents that being shown as the body of our scaffold also gets updated. So to do that, what I'll do is that I'll set the body attribute to be a container for now. And I'm going to say that the color for this container is going to be colors.red. To command save and now we're seeing a red colored container if i click on any of the barb items it's not changing so the way you can work with this is that you can actually go to your home page state class and at the top of this you can define an actual list of pages through which you can navigate using the butter bottom bar item and make sure that the amount of elements you put within this list equates to the amount of elements you put within your items list and then this solution should work so what i'm going to be doing here is that i'm going to say that i'm going to final list of widgets and this list is going to be called underscore pages and it's going to be equal to a list of widgets within this i'm going to initialize a container with the color red as the first element like so so this corresponds to the first item within our items list for our bottom bar then i'm going to do the same thing again i'm going to add another container and another container so three containers in total for the next one i'll change the color to that to be green because this container at the first index or the second item corresponds to the second item at the first index for our items list within our solomon bottom bar as well and then for the final one what i'll do is that for that container i'll change our color to be blue and then within our build function, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to say that for the scaffold, the body property now is going to be a widget from the actual pages list. And the widget that we're going to extract is going to be the current index that is selected. So with this, if I do command save, now you can see that when the profile bottom bar item was selected, then we're seeing a blue container. If I click on the add, then we see a green container. And if I click on the home, then I see an actual red container. And that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to working with bottom bars within Flutter and using this beautiful animated bottom bar within your application. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like on the video as well as subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you have any common questions or concerns, then leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.